Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and thought, I'm one handsome looking guy or gal, but then you see yourself in a picture looking something like this? Well, you're not alone. Most people experience a huge fluctuation of their own perceived attractiveness when looking at themselves in different pictures and videos. And it has been observed that the looks and appearance of a person vary depending on the modality of visualization. In which format you see yourself, basically. Obviously the circumstances around the taken picture makes a huge difference, such as lighting, distance, camera, and even your state of mind, and more. But what's interesting is, that even if you take a picture in the exact same circumstance as you would just looking at yourself in the mirror, you would most likely prefer the way you look in the mirror over the camera. So why is that? And more importantly, which one is the correct representation of how you actually look? Hopefully this does not come as a surprise to you, but the mirror actually shows you a reversed image of yourself. Which is why, for example, when you move your right arm, it kind of looks like it's your left arm moving in the mirror. This basically means that the mirror does not truly show you how you look to other people. The selfie camera on popular apps like Snapchat, Instagram and TikTok also shows you a reversed image, the way a mirror does. And a TikTok trend made this question more mainstream than ever before. People used a filter which flipped their image to the non-reversed picture and looked at their true self with despair, finally seeing their true ugly faces. At least that's what they believe. Why most people seem to experience this difference between the mirror and photos is both due to psychological reasons but also technical aspects. I will begin by covering the psychological part of the mirror versus picture slash camera question, then the technical aspects and make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss the conclusion in the end. One of the most probable reasons why we tend to look better in the mirror than in pictures is due to our own familiarity with the image that we see in the mirror. Since we use mirrors every day, we have been exposed to the flipped version of our looks. The reason why we then prefer this flipped image of ourselves and not the real non-flipped version is a result of the mirror effect. This is a broad psychological phenomenon, which basically indicates that we like what is familiar to us. This is probably deeply rooted as contrast to the dangers of uncertainty. Another study was made on how we perceive ourselves where subjects were shown altered versions of their face. The study concluded that participants were more likely to believe that their altered, more attractive face was actually them, and not their actual non-edited photo. Another psychological effect regarding this is that we usually, when presented with negative information, are quite critical about it and even dismiss it completely, whereas if something is aligned with our positive self-image, we tend to accept it with no questions asked. This is a way to preserve our sense of self and reality. So basically this works sort of like a loop. Since we believe that the mirrored version is how we actually look, we tend to prefer it. And since we prefer it, we also tend to believe that is how we actually look. Making the non-mirrored version seen in photos look even more strange. But no, even though other people see the flipped version of what you see in the mirror, they do not see a less attractive you, even though you might perceive this version of yourself as that. This is because of how the mirror exposure effect works. When you see your mirror self, you see what your brain has gotten used to all this time during your life. And when the image is flipped, it stirs up in the brain, making you notice every single little asymmetry. And your brain recognizes the look as odd. In the case of other people, they have instead gotten used to the real you. I would not notice the asymmetries that you notice when you see the real image of yourself. Fantastic, right? Okay, now let's move on to the technical aspects of the mirror versus camera question. First is the instant feedback advantage in the mirror. 
When you're looking in the mirror, you also have the advantage of being able to get instant feedback on your looks and thereby consciously as well as subconsciously changing your posture, facial expressions and movements to make yourself look better. When someone snaps a picture of you or videotaping you, you can't really see how you look so you probably do not make the best poses or facial expressions. Also, when it comes to pictures at least, we tend to hyper-focus on details of the face that would barely be noticeable in real life. That is because a picture is a set two-dimensional image without the natural motions of real life and thereby easier to pinpoint flaws and analyze more harshly. The fact that a picture is a 2D snap of reality also makes it highly likely that it's distorted by either the movement, lighting, or just an awkward pose. So this almost becomes like a cumulative effect since we are already seeing the non-flipped version that we are not used to and also hyper-focused on our flaws, leading to many people feeling that they are not as good looking as they really are. The technical aspects of the camera plays a big factor as well. Low quality cameras and lenses tend to distort the image and different focal lengths lead to very different looks of the face. Also, the distance between the face and camera plays a big part too. For example, the lens on the phone cameras is too short for facial photography. Taking face photos with short lens cameras and up close results in the whole face, nose and eyes appearing wider and face and nose longer than in real life. This facial widening distortion also causes the ears to disappear on the photographs. Additionally, any nasal asymmetry may be exaggerated due to stretching. If you are using a small camera or phone camera, you need to step back 5 feet and zoom in to diminish the stretching effect. However, it is best to use a DSLR camera with a 50mm lens with a total focal length of 85mm to get a real life image without the stretching effect, which is what is recommended for facial photography, aka portraits. This camera problem has become so common that even some plastic surgeons conducted a study and found that the nose appeared about 30% wider and the tip of the nose 7% wider than real life images when photos were taken up close. This study was published in JAMA Facial Plastic Surgery. Since our eyes only has one setting unlike different cameras and lenses, this could also be why we tend to be more fond of how we look in the mirror. Basically, it's not very likely that a camera will give you the most accurate representation of the face as we would see it with our human eyes. Another factor to consider is lighting. As you probably know, lighting causes a huge difference to your looks. Bad lighting can make you look way older. One study actually said that lighting used incorrectly can make you age 7 years in the eye of the beholder. It can emphasize wrinkles and spots and just in general give you an unflattering look. So what is bad and what is good lighting? In general harsh non-diffused lighting seems to do the trick to make you look the worst. For example, lighting from a bright light in an otherwise dark area. The most flattering and perhaps also accurate type of lighting seem to be diffused natural daylight. This is the case for most people at least, but not for everyone. For example, if you have a very sharp and sculpted face, what would be considered bad lighting might put some emphasis on the striking features in a good way. When we look in the mirror, our brain is better at adapting to the light and rectifying the flaws. Together with the mirror effect and the instant feedback, we are perhaps more forgiving to the difference light makes when seeing ourselves in the mirror. We can definitely look worse due to bad lighting in the mirror, but even more so with the camera since the camera does not correct any lighting. Also camera flashes illuminate the skin, making even the most perfect skin look bad. In the end, our pictures are what we actually look like, due to the fact that they are not flipped like the mirror. But people see the photo version of you as you see the mirror version of yourself, as proven in this study. So basically other people will prefer the camera you and not the mirror you, whereas you will prefer the mirror you due to the mirror exposure effect. So what conclusion can we take from this? 
If you find that you look good in a mirror, you probably look good. And if you don't find that you look good in pictures, but other people tell you that you look good, chances are that you also look very good. Thanks for watching and as always, please like and subscribe and comment and goodbye.